Asemic writing is a wordless open semantic form of writing. The word asemic means having no specific semantic content. With the non-specificity of asemic writing there comes a vacuum of meaning which is left for the reader to fill in and interpret. All of this is similar to the way one would deduce meaning from an abstract work of art. The open nature of asemic works allows for meaning to occur translinguistically. An asemic text may be read in a similar fashion regardless of the reader's natural language. Multiple meanings for the same symbolism are another possibility for an asemic work. In 1997 visual poets Tim Gaze and Jim Leftwick first applied the word asemic to name their quasi-calligraphic writing gestures. They then began to distribute them to poetry magazines both online and in print. The authors explored textual asemia as a creative option and as an intentional practice. Since the late 1990s, asemic writing has blossomed into a worldwide literary art movement. It has especially grown in the early part of the 21st century. Though there is an acknowledgement of a long and complex history which precedes the activities of the current asemic movement, especially with regards to abstract calligraphy, wordless writing, and verbal writing damaged beyond the point of legibility. Styles of asemic writing Some asemic writing includes pictograms or ideograms, the meanings of which are sometimes, but not always, suggested by their shapes. Asemic writing, at times, exists as a conception or shadow of conventional writing practices, reflecting writing, but not completely existing as a traditional writing system. Asemic writing seeks to make the reader hover in a state between reading and looking. Asemic writing has no verbal sense, though it may have clear textual sense. Through its formatting and structure, asemic writing may suggest a type of document and, thereby, suggest a meaning. The form of art is still writing, often calligraphic in form, and either depends on a reader's sense and knowledge of writing systems for it to make sense, or can be understood through aesthetic intuition. True asemic writing occurs when the creator of the asemic piece cannot read their own asemic writing. Relative asemic writing is a natural writing system that can be read by some people but not by everyone. Between these two axioms is where asemic writing exists and plays. Influences on asemic writing are illegible, invented, or primal scripts. But instead of being thought of as mimicry of proliterate expression, asemic writing may be considered to be a global post-literate style of writing that uses all forms of creativity for inspiration. Other influences on asemic writing are xenolinguistics, artistic languages, sigils, undeciphered scripts, and graffiti. Asemic writing occurs in avant-garde literature and art with strong roots in the earliest forms of writing. The history of today's asemic movement stems from two Chinese calligraphers. Crazy Zhang Zhu, a Tang Dynasty calligrapher who was famous for creating wild illegible calligraphy, and the younger, drunk Monk Weiss who also excelled at illegible cursive calligraphy. In the 1920s Henry Michaud, who was influenced by Asian calligraphy and surrealism, began to create wordless works such as alphabet and narration. Michaud referred to his calligraphic works as interior gestures. The writer and artist Vasily Kandinsky was an early precursor to asemic writing, with his linear piece Indian Story exemplifying complete textual abstraction. In the 1950s there is Brian Gizin, Isidore Iso, Sight Wombly and Marita Shayu, Boku Jean Kai group all of whom expanded writing into a legible and wordless visual mark making, they would help lay the foundation for asemic writers of the future. Mirtha Dermasek is another writer who had created asemic writing since the 1960s. Dermasek actively said that even though her graphisms have no meaning, they still retained the full rights of an autonomous work.
1971 was the year when Alan Satie released his work Ecrit en prose au love hypographic which contains asemic writing throughout the entire graphic novel. Leon Ferrari was another artist, poet who created many asemic works in the 1960s and 70s, such as Escritura. A modern example of asemic writing is Luigi Serafini's Codex Serafinianus. Serafini described the script of the Codex as asemic in a talk at the Oxford University Society of Bibliophiles held on May 8, 2009. Roland Barthes was also involved with asemic writing, he titled his asemic works Contra Ecritures. 1974 saw the release of Max Ernst's work Maximilian, The Illegal Practice of Astronomy. Homage a Dorothea Tanning. This book is a major influence on asemic writers such as Tim Gaze, Michael Jacobson, and Derek Bewley. In the 1980s, Chinese artist Zhu Bing created Tian Shu, or a book from the sky, which is a work of books and hanging scrolls on which were printed 4,000 hand carved meaningless characters. The 1980s also saw artist Gu Wenda begin the first of a series of projects centered on the invention of meaningless, false Chinese ideograms, depicted as if they were truly old and traditional. One exhibition of this type was held in XIAN in 1986, featuring paintings of fake ideograms on a massive scale. Also in China, during the 1990s, an abstract calligraphy movement known as calligraphyism came into existence. A leading proponent of this movement being Luo Qi. Calligraphyism is an aesthetic movement that aims to develop calligraphy into an abstract art. The characters do not need to retain their traditional forms or be legible as words. In Vietnam during the 2000s a calligraphy group called the Zen I Gang of Five appeared. To this group of young artists, wordless means that which cannot be said, that which is both before and beyond the specificity of naming. To be without words is saying nothing and saying everything. Specialized Publications 2013 saw the release of an anthology of asemic handwriting, which has over a hundred artists represented from many corners of the world. Asemic writing has also received mention and space in the last Vispo anthology, Visual Poetry 1998-2008. In 2011 a full issue of William Allegras's poetry journal Moria was focused on the participants and theory of asemic writing. Also in 2011, John Moore Williams published an asemic issue of his journal The Bleed. Other publications that cover asemic writing include Tim Gazee's Asemic Magazine, Michael Jacobson's weblog gallery The New Post Literate, and Marco Giovinal's curated group blog Asemic Net. Asemic writing has appeared in books, artworks, films and on television but it has especially been distributed via the internet. More recently there have been architecture models which utilize asemic writing in the design process. Currently, there is a robot that performs asemic writing live. Satu Kaikinen, a contemporary asemic artist, writer, had this to say about asemic writing. As a creator of asemics, I consider myself an explorer and a global storyteller. Asemic art, after all, represents a kind of language that's universal and lodged deep within our unconscious minds. Regardless of language identity, each human's initial attempts to create written language look very similar and, often, quite asemic. In this way, asemic art can serve as a sort of common language, albeit an abstract, post-literate one, that we can use to understand one another regardless of background or nationality. For all its limping functionality, Semantic language all too often divides and asymmetrically empowers while asemic texts can't help but put people of all literacy levels and identities on equal footing. Bruce Sterling comments about asemic writing on his Wired magazine blog Beyond the Beyond, writing that doesn't have any actual writing in it whatsoever. You would think that this must be some kind of ultimate literary frontier, a frozen Antarctica of writing entirely devoid of literary content. 
But I wonder, what is beyond asemic writing? Maybe a neural brain scan of an author thinking about asemic writing. Maybe asterisk generative asemic writing, asterisk maybe asemic biomimicry, maybe nanoasemic writing inscribed with atomic force microscopes by artificial intelligences, influences and predecessors. From the Tim Gaze interview at Common Line Journal, you could say that nature, since time began, has been manifesting asemic writing. It just needs a human to see the writing and recognize it. Apophenia, artist's book, Marion B. Lenger, written weed, a book of twigs and seeds laid out light text, Irma Blank, Christian Do Tremont, Logograms. Timothy Ely, Ely's work evokes a range of thematic material, arcane knowledge, secrets and cryptography, time and timelessness. He has developed a private written language using 366 individual signs or ideographic ciphers. Glossolalia, Wasson worker Kosrif, Letrisma, the letteristus often invented new symbols for their artworks and writing. John Bunyan Murray, Personal Spirit Writing, Nonsense, Jose Parler, Abstract Graffiti, Retina, aka Marquis Lewis, is a graffiti artist who has invented his own script. Eileen Smith's Com Lang Martian, Austin Osman Spare, Sigils, Uncuda de Acutes Jemais en Abolarala Hacid, Visual Poetry, The Voynich Manuscript, Possibly a proto asemic Text. Wild style, Ulfit Wilker in Abstract Expressionism, Gallery, Math Minus Math, a text of Asemic Math by Rose Air Apple, Asemic Translation of Flatland by Derek Bewley, Asemic Writing from Jean Christophe Giacottino, Asemic Hieroglyphs by Michael Jacobson for Rain Taxi's Winter 2014 issue, Title Page of A Book from the Sky in Pseudo Chinese Characters. The characters do not appear anywhere in the book.